Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explaining in details about a sign bar. So let us start with the introduction part. So basically the sign bar that will be used for measuring and indirect kind of angular measurement. And this sign bar, it will be used for highly precision and most accurate angle measuring instrument for any kind of components basically it will be also used for conjunctions with the different set of angle gauges for different varieties of the angle is being measured so just you can see this is the basic construction of sign bar so sign bar is basically available with the different range around 100 mm 200 mm and 300 mm so basically this length it will be center to center distance between these two setting rollers and it will be having a two faces or you can say two end faces and upper surface that will be accurately and precisely manufactured and this surface or you can say upper surface that will be parallel to the center line of the these setting rollers and for holding the components and for reducing the weight here that will be the some relief holes is being providing so different manufacturing it will be utilized the different kind of holes so this is the basic setup of sign bar and just you can see this is the actual picture of sign bar so this is setting roller number one two the distance between the center rollers it will be 100 200 mm and 300 mm according to my requirements i would like to select the different size of the sign bars for measuring a indirect measurement as an angular measurement and this is my upper surfaces or you can say working surfaces now just you can see these all sign bars that will be made with the high grade steel materials or you can say high carbon high chromium which will be having a corrosion resistance and basically it will be hardened ground lapped and stabilized so due to that kind of characteristics of the sign bars it will be having a long life and uh, that will be also used for accurately measurement so basically it will be capped onto the two hardened rollers that we already discussing and it will be accurately equal spaced so that space or you can see that length between two center rollers it will be 100 mm 200 mm and 300 mm each now we will discussing the different rollers are brought in contact with the bar in such a way that the top surface of the sign bar that would be absolutely parallel to the center line of the setting rollers that we already discussing so these holes drill into the body it will be having a different shapes so the sign bar to make it lighter or you can say for reducing the weight as well as it will be also facilitated to handling and that holes it will be known as a relief holes so these all are about the construction of sign bars so this instrument is always work with the true surfaces like surface plates now how to use sign bar that is the important part so just you can see here that will be the one of the example for measuring an angle of the small size of the components so just you can see this is my small size of the components and i would like to measure a uh, angle of these components so this is nothing but my sign bars and this is my components and these all square blocks it will be my slip gauges so onto the surface plate i would like to placing a different size of the slip gauges and one of the end of the setting rollers it will be resting onto it 
and another diameter of the roller of sine bars which will be resting onto a surface plate and onto the top surface of the sine bar here that will be the placing of my components so whatever the angle you will interested to measure just you can make that adjacent side over here so at the top of that particular workpiece here it will be my dial indicators so you should move your dial indicator into the parallel of these surface plates and according to that adjustment you will adjusting with the different size of the slip gauges with the ringing effect so once you achieve such kind of position from travel from this one point to another point and there will be no change onto the dial indicator up to that amount of accuracy you should maintaining with the adjusting with this height so once you fix this dial indicator according to such kind of parallelisms of this workpiece surface and the basically this my surface plate surface so after getting such kind of conditions or after getting such kind of setup you will count the different size of the slip gauges and you will easily find this height value by the addition of each and every slip gauges so now h you will easily find with this kind of setup and whatever length of the sine bar you are selecting so either it will be 100 mm 200 mm and 300 mm so if you want to find an angle of this so just you can see this is the z so this theta angle it will be equally having a this theta angle so i want to find out the theta angle so simply just you can applying the sine rule so sine theta that will be equal to h upon l so l you know and h you will find with the help of addition of the different slip gauges so first locating any work onto the given angles so as we discuss into the working principle of the sine bar and that will be having an equations sin theta equal to h by l so this is my theta just you can applying the sine rule over here so h upon l so you will easily finding this theta value but this is a one kind of indirect and precise as well as the accurate measurement of an angle of any kind of job so here h will be the height of the slip gauges combinations that we discussing l is the distance between the center of the rollers and theta that will i will interested to find is the angle to be set so thus knowing of the theta h can be find out and any work could be set at this angle as the top face of the sine bar and which will be inclined at the theta to the surface of the plates then just you can see other examples so in this example just you can see this is my components and in that case of the measurement of the theta angle which will be having a difficulties to resting on to the upper surface of the sine bar so at that time just you can use the reverse things so this is my surface plate and this is the one kind of block is there on to that i will resting my workpiece material and on to the both the end of the sine bar you will use the different size of the slip gauges so here that will be the h distance it will be maintaining by the different slip gauges and this is my h2 distance which will be also adjusting by different size of the slip gauges but what you need to know so this angle it will be having a workpiece so the sine bar it will be resting on to this and you will adjusting these things so in this kind of setup you will use the indirect measurement with the height of the different slip gauges so here that will be the h1 and h2 and you will interested to find this theta angle so if you want to find the absolute distance that we previously measure like sin theta equal to h by l but here the actual h that will be the difference between h1 minus h2 
For better result, both the rollers that will be placed onto a slip gauges of height H1 and H2 respectively. For better finding of this theta angle of these workpiece materials, so you will use sine theta equal to H1 minus H2 divided by L. So here that will be my H1 height of the slip gauges and here that will be the H2 that will be the addition of the respective slip gauges. So you will find the absolute distance over here and this L that we already learned either it will be 100 mm, 200 mm or 300 mm. So this is the way for finding a uh, angle of such kind of components. Now we will discussing for another kind of components. So just you can see into this kind of setup. This is my surface plate and this is my sign bar which will be resting onto the one end of the roller it will be onto the surface plate and another it will be onto the slip gauges. So here number of slip gauges is being used but how it will be maintaining so just you can see this is my workpiece materials so it will be directly placed onto the upper surface of the sign bar and it will be adjusting like this so this is the magnetic stand and onto that magnetic stand dial indicator it will be attached and just you can see the different positioning of the dial indicator it will be moving from one end to another end and it will be nothing to change onto this dial indicator such kind of setup or you can say adjusting the height of the slip gauges so you will maintaining this height of the slip gauges and it will be look like as a parallel surface or so this uh, workpiece surface which will be exactly parallel to the surface plate so such kind of arrangement is required for finding a angle of these workpiece materials so the sign bar basically inherently become increasingly impractical and inaccurate as the angle that will be exceeded 45 degree because of the following reasons so sometimes this kind of questions it will be also asked into the examinations so let us see the different reasons so this is the basic setups that will be used for finding a theta angle that we already discussing so just you can see in case of the sign bar is physically clumsy to hold into the positions so once you started with your experimentations that will be having a difficulties to exactly in that positions so that will be having a difficulties so this is the one of the reasons second the body of the sign bar obstructs the gauge block stacks even if relieved so this is the another reasons slightly error of the sign bar causes the large angular errors long gauge stakes are not nearly as accurate as shorter gauge blocks a difference in the deformation occurs at the point of the roller contact to the support surface and to the gauge blocks because the higher angles the weight load is shifted more towards the fulcrum of the roller. So during the experimental setup such kind of difficulties it will be arising and basically that will be observing for exceeding up to the more than 45 degree. So up to 45 or 40 degree it will be having a good compatibility and you can easily use but around this the such kind of difficulties it will be arising. So the size of the gauges, instruments or parts that are sign bar can be inspect is limited since it is not designed to support the large or for the heavy objects. So this is also one of the setups it will be used for measuring or angles so just you can see this is my surface plate and this is my component and onto both the ends the height gauge is being used with the facilitated with the free seal coils so just you can see both the end that will be the height gauge and reading it will be taken from left side and that will be r1 and for right side it will be reading r2 and just you can observe 
this sign bar it will be into the backward surface or you can say the top surface it will be onto the component so sometime for the large size of the component so sign bar it will be resting onto component so that will be the reverse thinking and i am interested to finding this theta angle so this is the theta so just you can find the height of this point and height of this point and you also having a distance l so you will easily finding a theta angle for the larger size of the jobs so such kind of free serial coil it will be used with this height gauge so this is the actual picture so the height over the rollers can be measured by the vernier height gauge that we discussing and using this dial test gauge mounted onto the anvil of the height gauge to ensure the constant measuring pressure so this is achieved by the adjusting the height gauge until the dial gauge that will be shows the same zero readings for the each time so this is the setup for the large size of the jobs so for that you will use sin theta equal to r1 minus r2 so that will be the absolute distance between these two ends and l so l that will be depends upon my selection of the sign bar so some of the advantages and disadvantages of the sign bar so starting with the advantages of the sign bar so it is precise and accurate angle measuring devices that we already discussing it is simple in design and construction it is easily available into any kind of measuring instrument shop some of the disadvantages like it is fairly reliable at the angle less than 15 degree but increasingly inaccurately as the angle is being increased and that will be the important part it is impractical to use sign bar for the angle above 45 degree you never use for more than 45 degree of the measurement with the help of sign bar so this is the major difficulties it is difficult to handle and positioning the slip gauges the sign bar is physically clumsy to hold into the positions that we already already discuss the application is limited for the fixed center distance between two rollers slightly error of the sign bar causes the larger angular errors so i think if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much